Hey everybody, Fat Jack here. Welcome to Kansas City. We're looking at the Chiefs today. Hope everybody's having a great week. We're head to the weekend. Preseason football is here and guys are ready to make some money. You know, in Kansas, they've legalized sports gambling. Imagine that uh, to some of these states that are still dragging their heels. But in the state of Kansas, they are gonna have legalized sports gambling sometime between now and the end of the year. Uh, Earlier the better for them, I know. Uh, I'm already hearing ads here in Kansas City for DraftKings, for FanDuel, all those type of uh, sports books. So uh, I'll, I'll caution to guys that are starting to bet uh, for the first time, and especially guys in this part of the country that have had some long-term success just betting on their favorite team. If you're new to the market, please try, rule number one in sports betting is don't bet with your heart. Try not to bet with your heart as much as possible. Um, use your head, okay? And uh, for instance, I will tell you, depending on the part of the country you're in, you know, it's, it's not a coincidence that New York has the most handle right now, month in and month out, of guys betting on, of, of, of revenue betting on sports. Uh, New Jersey's second. And as of right now, um, the, Wilson, the quarterback of the Jets, has more money put on him to lead the the yard the uh, league in passing yards than does Patrick Mahomes, than does Aaron Rodgers, uh, and a couple others. So people in that part of the country are betting, and they're betting with their heart. Um, the Jets making the playoffs are always a popular bet in that part of the country. When they legalized sports betting in Illinois, the Bears were the number one team to make the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl of any team in the NFL. Guys, I mean, you live in Kansas City or you live in another part of the, of the country, you're like, you know, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, it's what people do when they bet with their hearts. So if you're in Kansas, you're going to be betting. Be careful. You know, this Chiefs team, we're going to break down the Chiefs win total versus the number of 11 wins this year. But this Chiefs team is the same team. They only covered half their games last year, uh, 10 and 10. And so they didn't make you any money if you paid the Chiefs every week. Um, they have a lot of their key pe uh, pieces, but they did lose Tyreek Hill. So, and I'm going to talk about that. Um, here in just a second and what I think I started like a lot of people saying there's no way that this team could be better losing Tyreek Hill uh, than they would be with him but after thinking about it, honestly guys it's a, just a change in philosophy this is a Chiefs team that defensive coordinators had figured out kind of how to put Patrick Mahomes in uncomfortable positions and make him look a lot more human they were able to take away a Kelsey and they were able to limit what Tyreek Hill was doing and they did not have a lot of options the Chiefs did after that offensively especially as it got into the playoffs heading toward the Super Bowl which is what people in this part of the country want we're not in it to win nine or ten games if you live in Kansas City you want Super Bowls so I understand making the wholesale change. They brought in Juju Smith-Schuster, a number of other receivers. They're going to have a ton of weapons offensively for Patrick Mahomes to get the ball to. It should also allow Kelsey to have a better year. 11 wins a different type of number. When you get into double digits, and remember, guys, this is a Chiefs team. In the NFL, your schedule is built on how you finished the previous year. This is a Chiefs team that's going to have the hardest schedule in the league. In fact, they're the first team ever in the NFL to start the season with eight straight games against opponents who had a winning record the previous year. There are no cupcakes for literally two months with this Chiefs team. So I would be real careful playing over the total. Long and the short of it is I think this team could win 10 games and still have a good chance to win the Super Bowl. And that's because they're going to be battle tested at least for two straight months. And then even in the second part of the schedule, they're going to be playing a really, really difficult schedule. So they're going to be ready to roll if they stay healthy once they get to the playoffs with these new receivers, uh, with this improved defense over the last couple of years. So don't give up on the Chiefs. They lose a couple of games early if you're a Chiefs fan. Just don't bet with your heart. Start betting with your head. And more importantly, bet with me, the Fat Jack at FatJackSports.com. If you're anywhere in the country, uh, and oh, by the way, we're going to go under the 11 wins. I think this team wins 10 games or, or 11 games. But it's not going to surprise me, especially if injuries jump up, if they win 10 games uh, because of their schedule, because of who they're playing, and some of the newness at receiver. I think that is a, is a question mark early in the schedule when they're going to be playing some really tough teams. So uh, go to FatJackSports.com, get signed up, play under the 11 games. But more importantly, if you're in the state of Kansas or Missouri, don't bet with your heart, bet with your head, uh, or get with somebody that is betting with their head. So guys, have a great week. We're Kansas City. Next, we're going to be uh, heading down. We're going to look at Oklahoma. We're going to look at USC. Then Chicago this next week. We'll look at the Bears and a number of other teams on this preseason preview. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.